Hello guys and welcome um, to the another tier list video. So yesterday I actually made a demonic tier list video, but unfortunately we had huge frame drops. Um, and now everything is fine. Yeah, now everything works out. So I am actually going to sum up everything that we concluded yesterday, why the tier list is like this. And uh, we're actually going to start, um, wait a second, like this. There we go. So we're actually going to start. Why is, for instance, the magic eye on C? So the magic eye uh, has like super pure, uh, poor, poor stats. Like his stats is uh, are like really not that great. They are like really garbage. Uh, I mean, he has some decent CC, or, or uh, like uh, two surrounding enemies getting two seconds uh, purified. Purif uh, purification is actually really good because they actually getting um, taking more damage in. So. Overall, that seems good. The unfortunate thing is, his talent one gets a 13% chance to petrify the uh, for target for two seconds. Uh, it first sounds nice, but his attack speed is actually, is actually super low, so 13% is actually nothing that special. And with his poor stats, nothing that he can do. Also, his talent three relies upon that he dies, so you actually benefit when he dies. But if he dies, you have a 5v4, you know, and at Petrifies all enemies for 1.5 seconds. So, in total, like if you combine every five units, it's 7.5 seconds. It's actually pretty good, but overall, no. He has weak stats. He is only good if he dies, and if he dies, it's bad. So, this is why C list. Now we're going to go for uh, the Firebat and the X Lord. So, the Firebat. Why is the Firebat B tier? Well, Firebat stats are actually not that great. He has decent attack, decent attack speed, and an overall okay -ish CC. Like, his area of effect stance for 3 seconds is actually what making this B tier and not C tier. Uh, area effect for 3 seconds, if you catch 2 enemies, it's like 6 seconds stun. If you catch 3 enemies, 9 seconds stun. Uh, by the way, what do I mean with 6 seconds stun and 9 seconds stun? It's not like one target getting so much sun no but overall and you always have to think about it it's a 5v5 if i send three enemies for three seconds you know you get the idea okay so um yeah other than this he's actually not good this is it like he has good attack speed um and he's only powerful in the first six seconds like his HP pool is <clears throat> super low with this low defense. He's squishy. He is. If a backliner jumps on him, not good. Then we have the X Lord. Um, so there we had a lot of controversy in uh, Discord uh, after I made this uh, video. So a lot of people li uh, like the um, X Lord. The only problem is the X Lord. Why is he B tier? He is B tier, the same reason why Melozina is A tier. He is far too situational. I mean, he is not the as situational, right? But he is still, he is situational. So he only takes um, uh, resource two rage points uh, after a melee attack and taking less uh, melee, melee damage. His HP pool for a tank is okay. His defense is like average. His um, attack is like garbage. Um, what is good is this. Bound 60% of the damage prior to the damage of any incoming attack when using Battlecry. So using Battlecry for 4 seconds, you actually... Wait a second. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You bounce 60 damage uh, away for 60 seconds. But you actually have to activate your Battlecry. You know what? Now that I think about this... Yeah, it's for four seconds. Never mind. Let's put him into A tier. I thought it's only one attack. Okay, there we go. See, change on the spot. Boom. Um, the thing is, his talent two. A lot of people say, "Oh, his talent two. He can silence an enemy. This is incredible." Okay, first of all, you have to think about it. Being hit, so he getting hit. Now he has twenty percent chance to silence a target if he hits. So, only 1 in 5 chance. So he's bidding hit, boom, hit, boom, hit, boom, hit, boom, hit, silence on average. 
and that's not great. Hey, Nafaholic, how you doing? How you doing? Nafaholic, I made something. Please forgive me. <laughs> I misclicked. I misclicked. Please send me another friend request. I was, I was here in France, and I was like, yeah, yeah, um, like this, like this, like this, and then then I watched something like this, but I clicked on you. You were like here. He he was here, and I clicked on you, and then I deleted, and then I'm like, huh? The other guy's still there, and then I saw on my Twitch video, it was you. <laughs> so please send me another friend request. Uh, here's my ID, three thousand. Uh, 809 but yeah nice to see you nephaholic okay let's continue <laughs> yeah sorry uh, okay let's continue with the sum up because this is a sum up video and then we're going to go for the undead tier list oh you don't play anymore oh why is that don't you like it um yeah so actually this this is making um, the, the X Lord actually good against bursts. So he's A tier. Okay. And this don't proc as much as people think it, it would. Um, then we go with the Lava Griffin. Why is Lava Griffin A tier not B tier? Oops. Why is Lava Griffin A tier not B tier? Because she actually fits really good in uh, the demonic lineup. Also, boot bonus. Nah, JK. It's like, no, 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 no. No frame drops. Okay, it doesn't show me that I have frame drops. Don't tell me I have frame drops again. Let's see. Oh, the game! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game, the game is a little bit laggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, let's continue. Let's continue now. Oh, that's why you don't play. Well, you have to think about it. They're just upgrading the servers because the uh, population of um, uh, of people playing this now right now is increasing. So they're spiking. They need to like figure this out as well. Also, it's an idle game, so if it lags, it's actually okayish. You know. <clears throat> Never mind. Let's continue. Um, how are you doing, by the way, Nifeaholic? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I really like that you're still joining in, even you, if you don't play this game. But still, I would advise you, hop on, uh, hop on in, come back again. So Dark Lord, let's go Dark Lord. So yesterday we ha uh, I had a discussion uh, in the Discord and it went pretty somehow mad when I ju then just thought, okay, you know what, we, we won't like uh, go on one point. Because I said Dark Lord is more of a DPS and not of a tank. And he just uh, said he had Dark Lords and um, Giants in the front line and Giant died so much. But that's another argue. It's, it's not to argue. Yes, he is still tanky. And yes, he is has survivability. He has a ton of HP, especially with his talent 3 being hit. Grants him even more HP. He has a ton of HP pool, a ton of... Uh, um, armor but overall he is more DPS tank like he's more of a warrior not so much as uh, a tank yes he tanks a lot but he dishes out a lot of damage so he sacrifices 50% HP and surrounds enemy for the sum of 150% uh, HP loss and 50% uh, attack power okay his attack power is like diminishing will but 150% HP loss with this skill he can always, uh, almost get up to 900,000. So then, even 10%, so 10% would be 90,000, so 135,000. So he dealing damage with 145,000 um, yeah, power. And that is huge. 
if he gets this far and he still has like my max HP which like not going to be always mm, nice to hear this knife of honor so um, yeah still he's m yes he is tanky but he is actually your DPS and uh, he survives and everything is good but he also somehow relies only on his ability and this is the problem I mean yes his attack also increases um, uh, the more uh, the less HP he has up to 90% which makes makes this up to 20 so again he is DPS less HP more damage doing this getting less HP getting more damage um, also offsets to fatal attacks this is pretty neat if you get into a small threshold and you just need to survive this little itsy bitsy because you're regenerating um, HP per second and with the talent 3 together it's actually uh, quite decent but overall yes it's good but it's not something like you know then we go for Casio and the giant why is Casio and actually why is giant S tier so Casio has this super fast um, uh, attack where he uh, activated uh, activating the first um, talent as well with each hit the thing is the first talent ignoring the defense so he is an absolute tank eater as you can see he he has the space here in the middle and he's nom 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 chunking through the plates of all armor units this is with every attack this is with every attack plus it also deals like extra damage depending if he has like um, of his uh, max HP or um, his own attack power which is pretty high so either the enemy has to have low HP or yeah otherwise uh, Casio is just chunky so Casio is good at against tanks he is with his attack stat he's also not that bad against squishy heroes but overall he's really good against tanks Casio eating tanks also with the crit rates also really good um, and almost all of the time his talent 3 is activated it's like four seconds it's activating two seconds cooldown four seconds activating it's increasing uh, it's getting him an extra HP so he getting extra tanky uh, increasing the attack and attack speed which again offsets ignoring the defense power which again getting you to the divine uh, sword attacking every by the way every enemy and um, yeah activating again boom ignoring defense so this is why he is SS tier he is just eating through tanks give him a tank with 6000 uh, armor He's just eating through this. Om nom 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 nom. And then we go giant. Why is giant SS? He's only S and he is competing with an SS unit. No, with an SSS unit. You know, from the rarity. Okay, the thing is, he is a team boy beast. He is your team leader, captain, I don't know. He is so good in a team and you have to think about this this game is not 1v1 it is 5v5 you always have to think about this and he is this team player he is the one that always motivates others and say guys we're going to do this we're going to get this and the thing is his ability the shield grants the whole team 3000 defense over the next five seconds this is actually humongous uh, 3000 percent of giants defense and giants defense is the highest as i saw so far 6800 give him give him percentage based defense um equipment <laughs> you know so everyone that's going to jump on your backline it doesn't matter because your backline is going to survive you know so like assassin like melusina no chance they're jumping on your backline the rage fills up they're jumping on your uh, backline his rage goes up he casting shield on his backline his backline survives melusina can't trigger her first skill did it's just an example by the way no hate against melusina i don't like her 
Um, also, he getting like healed with every hit, so he's actually really good against like uh, small, like fast rapid attacks. Also, with this high armor, he's actually taking pretty much not that much damage. Uh, also, he has like damage reduction. Four or five seconds when his uh, HP gets below fifty percent. So, if he getting in trouble, he actually at least sustain even longer. So Giant's role is sustain, and Demonic is lasting or like lasting, and Demonic overall strategy is to last, and he fits the role perfectly. This is why he is SS, no doubt, no doubt about this. And then we go for Wizard. Wizards, oh my god, she is so good. Like every, every tier list, or at, actually I only made, made two one, has this one, oh my god. The, the human tier list had Talos. Talos is, if you have Talos, GG, easy win. Here it is Wizard. She's a little bit susceptible. She has a small um, disadvantage against heroes that are good against summonings. But that's it. So first of all, as a range unit, her HP is humongous. So even more a sustain. And we just uh, realized what you... Not sustain, last thing. Uh, what do demonic ones? They want to last. They want to survive. If they survive, they win. The longer the demonic survives, the greater the chances to win. And this is except uh, this is for wizard. Super high HP for a ranged unit. Super high damage for a um, damage uh, unit. Actually, not super high, but on average pretty high. You're going to see why it's pretty high because she is summoning imps that also have 35% of uh, wizard's attack. I think with this one, it's even more. So her imps are even stronger and uh, the attack speed and speed and attack is also stronger if she using group demon giant is face of space Lord. no giant is uber good he is your team player if i would go for a demonic lineup i would have at least one giant and i say at least one giant because maybe even two giants Okay, so, um, maybe even three giants and a wizard and a lava griffin. Never mind. <laughs> His rarity is S. His rarity is S, but he competes with Cassio, which rarity is SSS. So, giant is really, really good. He is SS. Despite what the rarity of the unit is, his tier list is SS. No doubt about this. No discussion, no doubt. Not, a, not about Giant. Giant is superb. By the way, did you know that lifesteal don't work on shields? Just saying. Um, yeah, so she summons Imps. Imps tanking. She summons more imps. Imps tanking, imps dealing damage. Her imps are faster and attack faster and have more attack. And also when she summons uh, the imps, the imps actually attack even more faster and more attack speed. So her damage is actually not displayed in here. Her damage is, I just realized, what the F is this? There we go. So her damage is actually not displayed here. Her damage are the imps implied. So if you go like this, take this, you know, six summons with 35% plus also 50% of their attack. I think it's of their attack. And also 50 of their attack. This number, this damage number is going high. And this imps, even despite they having like a little small threshold of her HP, since her HP is good, it's good. And if you have a giant, 
Um, Gentle White Tiger. We got to figure this out. I didn't done a White Tiger yet. This is now demonic tier list. White Tiger is a um, natural hero. So we're going to go through every single tree first and then we're going to compare the big picture. So, um, yeah. So this is why Wizards, she is overall good. She's overall good. Only problem are uh, heroes that can deal with small little guys fast. But other than this, her damage displayed here is not her damage. Her damage is way more higher. higher. And again, it's continuous damage. So what you want is lasting. If you last long enough, you have continu continuously damaged. And this is like Demonic's perk, continuously damaged. 